Hey guys, this is Brick, and welcome back to Dark Souls. Prepare to die edition. I have a lot of humanity right now. And that's because I felt like it. It helps me discover items better, so hopefully I can give you a little more information about said items. Anyway, I'm going to head right in here and kill some sentinels. This is the first order of business on today's plate. Now, the thing to note about sentinels is they have these shields. And those shields are impenetrable. That was not even close. Oh, oh god, pissed off. Oh god, I'm pissing off two of them at once, aren't I? Ow. Oh, yeah, I also, I realized that I have been playing with only one ring on. So I put a second ring on. I put on the ring of the evil eye. Just because I've never used it and I'm curious, it sh it'll give me a little bit of health every time I kill an enemy. And that seems interesting. Now, these sentinel guys are very slow. You just got to get behind them. You can actually get behind their shield, and they'll keep turning and pushing you with it, and then you can just, like, murder them. Also, the bleed bleeds are pretty fantastic against them. Anyway, we're going to clean these guys up really quick. Goodbye. Oh, crap. Goodbye. No, goodbye. <laughs> Don't you slam me with that shield, bro. Not a fan. Chop the treasure chest for good luck. And by good luck, I mean not bad luck. Hey, Sentinel. I'll leave you alone. These guys actually give a potent amount of souls, so if you feel you're underleveled for this area, um, feel free to kill a few of them. I'm level 50, which is halfway to what my goal is. In Dark Souls, I don't think I've mentioned this, in Dark Souls you can technically level up indefinitely. It will take a really long time because it, it scales pretty harsh. Um, but I suggest stopping at 100 because that is the level that the arenas take place at. And also, it gives you a bit of a challenge. It makes it so you have to optimize your build very well. Which is fun, actually. I have a lot of fun going through builds. Like, ow. I really should have rolled, but I was like, nah, dude. I'll just move to the side until I die horribly like I'm about to. Miss me. Drink, 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 drink. Okay. Boop. Boop. Whoa, hey, I hit the shield. What the heck? Go away, you stupid, you stupid cheese. No, no, dang it. You were supposed to bleed. You were supposed to bleed. You were the chosen one, Anakin. God damn it, why am I so bad at this game right now? <laughs> Usually I record in the morning and that's my excuse. It's currently 8.54 at night. I don't have one. As I was saying, um, I don't remember what I was saying. I'm bad at this game. That's that's what I was saying. More or less. You can actually fit under these guys' legs, which can, makes for some pretty funny shenanigans. Also a really good tactic to kill them. Whack. Wake up, bitch. Your rent's due. Your rent's due. Oh, boy. And hi -ya! Oh, God. He was trying to ninja kick me. You don't get to ninja kick. Oh, he did it again. No ninja kick for you, Mimic. God, these are easily just the strangest enemy ever. Anyway, go pick up a crystal halberd. You can use that if you want. It'll be very strong. It just, uh, it will break and stay broken. Anyway, I almost tried to keep beating up that treasure chest like I, like it was a bad guy. Not my shining moment. Anyway, we're going to move on to the meat of anal rodeo. I mean, an Orlando. Sorry. Don't know what came over me. Anyway, God, look at that. It's so pretty. beautiful. Anyway, I'm going to make this a relatively short episode. I'm not going to make a lot of progress, and that is because I am short on time. I'm sorry I would record this tomorrow morning, Tuesday morning, but I have a gig sort of thing. I'm actually doing practice with a, a band practice sort of thing with a few of my dad's friends, just just because it's, it's pretty fun. I'm playing drums because I'm the only person that knows how to play drums. Otherwise, I'd, I'd probably play guitar. But beat the shit out of this guy. Yes, that's right. We're back to the bell gargoyles. Just one this time, which means he should be very easy for you to take down. I'm going to try and get his tail axe because I've made the mistake of missing it last time. I'm trying not to kill him beforehand. There we go. Look at that. I didn't miss it after all. Burn in hell. Watch out. Just These guys are a little stronger than last time. Obviously, they aren't going to be the same strength. You would, if you came to the, oh, wow. Making, dude, that's some lucky drops. All right, 
Well, if you go this way, it's some very lucky drops. This big old thing right here, you're gonna come up to this and have nowhere to go but down to your death. Because apparently the floors of Andalondo, and Orlando are pitch black doom holes of death. There are no streets here. This is the city of the gods. Do you think they need streets? What are you, four? Anyway, I'm gonna go explore for a little bit because we don't know where to go, do we? Where the hell are we supposed to go? There's nowhere to go. Everything's everything's pitch black on the floor. Oh, there is a treasure chest over here. That's something. Guess what? I didn't even know this was here until just now. Isn't that fantastic? The more you know. Demon Titanite. I could actually use that on some of my characters. Anyway, I'll keep that in mind. I'm gonna go back around this way. Which will take us under here. And this will take us back up. But, we need to make progress. And you will usually see a note like this, right there, to help guide your way. Take you up this very precarious thing. Try not to slip off. The camera kind of jerks a little bit when you hit the columns, so just be careful if you're sprinting up like me. Wow, I almost died! Anyway, we're gonna pass through here. Into the painting room. This room is freaking cool. It's a little scary, but damn if it isn't really, really cool. These are the painting guardians. They guard the painting. <laughs> In case the name was too vague, I just thought I'd remind you they guard, they guard the painting. And now here comes one of the most precarious things in the game and easily the bane of a lot of speedrunners. Yep. We're crossing it. Not only that, we're going to be fighting on it. So be very careful, because there's no surviving this fall. The game will kill you. Even if even if you have some sort of like fall control spell, the game will kill you. These guys are going to throw knives at you while you come, so... Be careful that you don't get hit and knocked right the hell off. And most of them will do that! And you can laugh at them. For their incompetence. Now, um... <sighs> this is supposed to be connected. It would be connected if something else hadn't knocked it off. I'm really not sure what, but now the chandelier is on the floor, so just make sure to chop it as you go by. For some reason, it chopped itself this time. Now, I'm going to show you another tactic to kill these guys. You try and make them come at you, and then you stand right on the corner, and I guess he's not going to show it for me, but a lot of the time, they will jump right the hell off on the corner trying to, like, dive attack you. Ooh, what you drop? What you... Oh, God, don't fall. Okay. I have 10 humanity, which is going to make me play a lot more carefully, because I don't want to lose 10 humanity. Humanity is not as rare as you feel it is, but it's still not something I want to just toss. Now, see, eventually they'll run up towards you, and god damn, I can't get them to do it. You stand at a corner like that, and usually... <gasps> oh god, I almost fell. Usually they'll just like... Or not usually, like 50% of the time they will just jump off and straight up kill themselves, and it's, it's hysterical. Anyway... Plenty of goodies down there, but we'll get there later. Now, we're going to... This is the progress way, right here. But we're going to quickly... Oh my god, frame rate. We're going to quickly go this way. Be very careful, obviously. We're dealing with some seriously dangerous jumping here. Or rolling. Jumping might be a little overkill. It might actually screw you up. Go up here. Hello. Fight this guy in a very cramped space. So, try not to... If you have a thrusting weapon, you'll be just fine, but... Any wide slashing weapons, you might have some serious trouble fighting in that corridor. Wait, make sure there's no mimic here. This is a habit. Grab a divine blessing. And rinse and repeat in the other direction to get back to where we were. And just like the other side, there will be a painting guardian right up the staircase. Hey, big guy. Whoa, shite. These guys are actually pretty strong if you let them hit you, so uh, my advice to you, don't. Speed them down. Wow, did, if you saw that, my health bar went up a little bit from the evil eye. That's actually not a horrible amount of health back. It's still pretty negligent, but... Or negligible, I should say, not negligent. Pass through the fog wall. This will do nothing. Unless... This big staircase is not up here, and you need it to be. So we're going to run right here. And push the lever.
That will not be a cutscene every time. It's actually really fun to ride this thing, I'm not gonna lie. <sighs> okay, well as soon as you land, yeah, this is gonna happen. You got another bell gargoyle to deal with. Let me tell you, not a nice chap. Ah, uh, got job on time. I want another tail axe. Give it to me. Give it to me. Owie. No, I don't want the tail axe in my face. I want to take it from you. Context, bro. Aw, oh, they don't give it to you. That's okay. I already got one. No need to be greedy. Come on. Aw, oh, you didn't want to jump in the lava? I guess you're a little smarter than I thought. Boop. Boop. Goodbye, Sally. See you never. And another... I think I have two of those now. That's a pretty lucky drop, but considering I have ten humanity, it's rather expected. Now, you know what? I decided I'm going to take this episode a little farther. I am going to get you through the hardest part of Anna Rolando. At least in my opinion. The most obnoxiously difficult part for someone who doesn't know how to handle it. And I will probably die on this part. Just I'm just going to throw that out there. There's going to be these two sentinels here. If you feel the need, you can fight them by pulling them one at a time. I'm just going to pull this one. Come here. No? Come on, big man. Don't fight them two at, one, two at once. You will not survive that. Anyway, fighting them on a slant's kind of odd. It's not exactly ideal. In fact, I'm pretty bad with these guys right now. I'm not... I'm not fighting these guys at my best, <laughs> as you may have noticed over the course of this. Okay, so keep your keep your distance from the one on the right, and he will not pay you any mind. You actually don't have to fight the first sentinel that I just did, you can just run along. But I fought him for displaying sake. There's nothing down there, but you can stand on that, which could come in handy at some point. Nothing over here. All right. Now let me get something, let me get something in, in the air here. I hate these guys. I don't know why, but I hate them. But you can knock them off cliffs, and that makes them pretty fun. So do that. Do that. <laughs> don't get hit. They do lightning damage, so even blocking with your shield will still do a, a, actually a pretty decent amount of damage. They also have a ranged attack in which they throw their spear at you, so be careful of that. Be careful of everything with these guys they do. They're so obnoxious. I just want to knock them off the cliff. Get off my cliff! They have no poise at all, so just hit them, and they, they, they get pushed back. They have absolutely no structure. They are 100% squishy and movable. Anyway, down here, this is a rather obnoxious little section right here because it seems downright impossible to fight one of these two demons at the same time. So take my advice. Put up your shield. Don't fight either of them. Run my bite and keep running because now you are under fire. Try not to let that happen to you. You are under fire from the An Orlando archers. These sons of bitches, these horrible things, will shoot spear-sized arrows at you, and these will knock you very hard, not hard enough to fall off easily. So time it. Make sure you're moving. Don't stop believing. <laughs> Hold on to that feeling. Damn me. Damn, dude. Welcome to An Orlando, right? I'll meet you guys back there. All right, round two, An Orlando archers. Bring it on. Just run past these guys. Sway side to side so you don't get hit by the uh, spears they throw. Um, now, as a quick note, if you buy some poison arrows, a, a few of them, from the female undead merchant, there are sweet spots down there on that, on that pathway that the arrows will not hit you. And if you stand there and you shoot a couple of poison arrows and you poison this guy up there, he'll die. This becomes easy mode. Now let me grab my big pile of, look at that, big pile of souls and big pile of cash. Or humanity, not cash. Okay, so, oh, Jesus. No. No, god damn it, no. Arrgh! It's a long walk back there, man. It's a long ass walk. Damn. 
10 humanity, 25,000 souls. All because I accidentally pulled both sentinels instead of one. So as I was saying before, poison arrows. Definitely the easiest way to do this. Because this part is frustrating. And the worst part about it is it's right before a bonfire. Now, I don't always get hit by the arrow from the back. Anyway. Get off of my lawn, you piece of shit. I'm going to die, aren't I? Yep, my controller died. My controller died! What kind of sick world do we live in? <laughs> I'm not losing it. I'm not losing it. <laughs> I'm gonna take a quick moment to explain the, uh... The enemies I'm fighting. Those are Silver Knights. Those are the Knights of Lord Gwyn before they were burned, charred black by the... During the war with the demons of Lost Isolith. Now, that makes no sense yet. Well, to some of you. Anyway, yeah, that's what the Silver Knights are. Uh, we'll be seeing more of them. I'll be back with more batteries. Freaking God, dude, come on. You think you're so tough, huh? You think you're so good that you can disconnect my battery in the middle of me kicking your ass. You think that it's that good, huh? Well, guess what? You're right. I simply have to be calm about this. That's all it takes. It's a little bit of serenity in my mind. That's all it'll be. And I just literally just walked off the damn thing myself. All right. All right. All right. You know what? There's not even going to be a speech this time. I got nothing to say to you guys. I'm just going to just going to run right up. And I'm just going to give it my best. And then I'm gonna die. Because for some reason my shield just just doesn't work, you know? Yep. I think I'm gonna try rolling. Alright! Take 800. This time with rolling. Let's see how that goes. I like how I'm just ignoring my souls at this point. I'm like, I know I'm gonna lose them. Okay, well that worked better, but I still didn't avoid that one. Now, the best bet here, these guys fight about the same as a Black Knight. They're a little weaker on both the health and the damage side, so... You just gotta beat him down! My recommendation is parrying him like that. And you're gone. And he gave me an arrow, too. Fantastic. Alright. I have the wolf ring on right now, so I have a little more poise. Now, against my better judgment, I'm going to go after this guy because he has an item behind him. If I were playing this just recreationally, I would suggest not doing this because God knows somehow something will go wrong. It will You'll die, and then you'll just feel like an idiot. Somehow I parried and still took damage there, but we won't worry about that. He's dead. Thank God, if you see down there... That little yellow glowy thing, that is where one of the demons landed earlier. And he dropped a demon spear. Because that's the only thing that they can drop. And it's their weapon. But unfortunately he fell off because that's how I killed him. I pushed him off. So I can't retrieve it myself. Which is actually pretty unfortunate. But there's a vendor that we'll meet sometime later that actually sells said demon spears. And they aren't too rare. You just have to farm a little bit. No worries. Anyway, we're going to go past these asshole archers. Come down here. Almost, they claim me almost as many times as Havel. Unlike Havel, these ones are allowed to kill me that many times because they're that suckish. We step into the giant building in the center of Anor Londo. Take this door on the left first. And greet the bonfire and Solaire. Ah... Solaire, how are you, my friend? Oh, there you are. You've been quiet these days. Smooth summoning, I say. Anytime you see my brilliantly shining signature, do not hesitate to call upon me. You've left me with quite an impression. I would relish a chance to assist you. Thank you, my friend. Anything else to say? You really are fond of chatting with me, aren't you? If I didn't know better, 
I think you have feelings for me. Oh no, dear me. Pretend you didn't hear that. <laughs> well, now Solaire thinks we're gay. Don't worry about that. Um, I'm going to end this one off. So thanks for watching, everybody. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. See you next time.